Carlos Sainz F1 future is almost comparable to a ping pong ball at the moment, taken out by Ferrari, and is now being teased by almost every team on the grid. Mercedes, Red Bull, and even Williams have been linked to him. The 29 year old had hoped to remain at the Scuderia, but the Italian team penning Lewis Hamilton to a multi year deal ahead of the current F1 season has forced the Spaniard's hand. So, what next for Carlos Sainz? There are no really good options that he could take next year and they all have a high risk of hurting his reputation. So what is the best destination for Carlos Sainz? Having been heavily linked with a switch to Sauber ahead of Audi's highly anticipated F1 2026 entry, Sainz's form has seen him emerge as a candidate for Red Bull and Mercedes. Ahead of the recent Chinese Grand Prix, Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko confirmed the team are in negotiations with Sainz, but conceded the reigning world champions are unable to match Audi's very lucrative offer. Meanwhile, multiple reports from Italy over recent weeks claimed Sainz is close to agreeing a deal to replace Hamilton at Mercedes, in what would be a direct swap with the seven-time world champion. In the other side, Audi entering Formula One formally in 2026. The German manufacturer has influence on the drivers the Sauber team will race with next season, including whether or not Carlos Sainz receives a contract offer, which Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko claims has happened. Seidel also revealed what the relatively new team is looking for in their driver lineup. Apart from commitment and trust in the process, the team will try to secure a lineup with experience as the benchmark. This leaves the soon to be F1 outfit with two combinations. They can either hire two experienced drivers or fill the other seat with a strong rookie. With Nico Helkenberg, they've already fulfilled their experience criteria. Now, it remains to be seen if it'll be two experienced drivers if Carlos Sainz accepts the offer otherwise, or do you will shift its focus to a promising rookie. This scenario again makes Sainz's future a little uncertain. If the Spaniard doesn't reply to the German brand soon, he might have one less suitor on the grid. That leaves him with two options, Red Bull and Mercedes. However, the 29-year-old is not a strong preference for either of the teams. As things stand, it all seems up in the air at the moment for the three-time Grand Prix winner. It will be interesting to see where he finally ends up as the clock ticks by. Sainz is also said to be negotiating with Red Bull, having previously raced with the backing of the energy drinks giant before debuting with Toro Rosso a decade ago as the cockpit alongside Max Verstappen remains unconfirmed for next season. Red Bull team boss Christian Horner has jokingly branded Sainz as his team's nemesis and has admitted the Spaniard's form makes him worthy of evaluation, while Red Bull consultant Helmut Marko has stated, Audi has already offered a big money contract to Sainz, one Red Bull can't or won't match. Sainz is a former Red Bull Academy driver, and he was Verstappen's teammate at Toro Rosso in 2015 where he scored fewer points but beat him in qualifying on Saturdays. And Horner acknowledges, as does Helmut Marko despite his usual humiliating discourse with a departing driver, that he shouldn't have been let go maybe now. Even Fred Vassar is thinking the same thing after replacing Sainz with Lewis Hamilton for 2025. Horner said based on a performance like that, you can't rule out any possibility. We want to have the best driver pairing. And sometimes you have to look outside the team. Today's race was won by an unemployed driver, so the market is reasonably fluid. While Horner has denied knowledge of the terms Audi has offered Sainz, Marco claims Sainz has been offered a long-term deal to join the German squad, reuniting him with former Renault teammate Nico Helkenberg after the current Haas driver was announced as joining the Hinwell-based squad from next season. Sauber CEO Andreas Seidel addressed the rumors regarding Sainz and didn't deny that an offer has been made to the Spaniard. He said our approach is clearly not to motivate drivers or other employees to come to us with huge amounts of money. We basically have the financial resources of a top team, but we really think about how we can use every franc or euro sensibly and efficiently. We want to attract people who want to be part of this journey and accompany Audi's entry into Formula One. The Mark's name will not be above the door until then, but Sorber team representative Alessandro Aluni Bravi revealed it was involved in driver market decisions, that was reflected in the announcement earlier this week that Nico Helkenberg has penned a multi-term contract to move from Haas to Sauber from the 2025 season. However, Seidel, who worked with Sainz whilst at McLaren from 2019 to 2020, has denied that it is using Audi's financial might to attract names to the nascent operation. Expanding upon the choice to hand Helkenberg a long-term deal, Seidel explained that it wants to tie down drivers who can accelerate Sauber's transition into Audi. He said it is clear that, given the current level of performance, it is absolutely important for us to have the best possible driver pairing at the start. 
It also makes sense that our future driver squad from the Audi Works team will be in the cars as early as 2025 to support the project from the start. The drivers can also help us in terms of team motivation and development direction. With Fernando Alonso signed through to the end of 2026 at least, with Aston Martin and Nico Hülkenberg confirmed by Audi for 2025 and beyond, driver options for Mercedes are running out fast, with on-form Carlos Sainz the best bet for Mercedes, says Rosberg. He said Sainz probably wants a multi-year contract, and that doesn't make much sense from Mercedes' point of view. That's what makes it so difficult, and that's why Toto is looking closely at how things are going with Antonelli. Rosberg explained the impact Hamilton's departure to Ferrari will have on the German team's future. Lewis has put Mercedes in an extremely difficult position. Maybe Sainz wants a multi-year contract, and Mercedes does not. Logically, and all prior relationships aside, how could they hope for anyone better than Sainz? Is Antonelli better than Sainz in 2025? Of course not. However, I'd bet that Sainz does want an iron-clad multi-year contract, especially after being unceremoniously kicked to the curb by Ferrari. If I were in charge of the Audi, I'd write him a huge check and lock him in for five years. A young team needs a benchmark driver who can definitively demonstrate whether or not your car is any good. It will take time to turn Sauber into a mighty Audi F1 team. And if Sainz is going to pay his dues during the first two or three years, he needs to be allowed to reap the benefits when Audi is truly competitive. Of course, when the new power units make their premiere, there's no way to know who will produce the engine and who will be the also-rans or even the boat anchors. The sad part is that Wolf is letting his ego make decisions. Sainz is clearly the best choice, but he can't swallow his pride and sign the guy Hamilton is replacing. Instead, he is promoting Kimi Antonelli as a slam dunk can't miss Max version 2.0, which is not supported by the facts. He's a marketing gimmick to save face that Hamilton has given up on the Mercedes team to understand the ground effect regs going forward. Sure, Mercedes missed out on Max, but the answer doesn't seem to be to put a teenager in a works car. Antonelli is currently ninth in F2. Both Russell and Leclerc managed to win F2 outright in their rookie years, and they still cut their teeth at Sauber and Williams. But this kid is ninth and hasn't even gotten a podium yet, and he is the next Max. I honestly think that Sainz should think about taking a year off. There are no really good options that he could take next year, and they all have a high risk of hurting his reputation. Sainz is certainly delivering on track, and it's clear that had Ferrari not signed Hamilton, he would be extending his stay at Marinello. As he says, the best currency in the driver market is performance, so it's to his credit that he's delivering every weekend. Whether that's enough to move the needle for Red Bull and Mercedes in itself is doubtful, but what is clear is Sainz has resolved to ensure that if the sands shift at either of those teams, and the top choices for those seats don't come off, then he is at the top of the list as he says, I know some of those options don't fully depend on me. If there are no go, he will likely have to make the move to Audi. That outcome appears most likely right now, and it's a deal that offers a lot more to the team than the driver, at least in the short term.